Hey guys, welcome back. So to start this tutorial out, I'm going to start by spraying my face with a little bit of regular water and then with a little bit of Smashbox primer water. The primer I'm going to be using is their primerizer and I'm going to focus that in my forehead and around my mouth area because those are the areas that need the most moisture. So now for my brows, I'm going to go in with ColourPop and a little bit of IT Cosmetics cream. So I'm also going to start out by using a wax from Milani. The IT Cosmetics cream is an espresso and I'm going to use that to base my brow. And then the ColourPop cream is in black and I'm going to use that to go in and draw little strokes to look like hairs. So as you can see, I'm just using the wax to control my hair. I'm using the brown to base it. And then to make it look more natural, I'm going in with the black again and drawing little tiny hair strokes. I think that is the best, um, for my brows at least, it's the best way that I can fill them in. Sometimes when I'm not using cream, I will use a little bit of powder. The wax and the powder work great together. So now I'm gonna go on with the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer, and I'm gonna use that to clean my brows up. I'm gonna use the medium dark, I believe it is, to make my brows look neat and freshly done. I'm just gonna make sure to go ahead and blend out that concealer so the halo on my brows look natural and really, really blended out. And after doing my eyebrows with the concealer, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black and make sure to darken in that tail. I'm also gonna go in in the head of the brow to make sure they're even. So for the lid, I'm gonna go in with an actual primer, which I, <laughs> I rarely use. A lot of times I will use concealer, but an actual primer is really good, especially the one from Smashbox. From the Smashbox Bold Palette, I'm going to go in with a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow. I'm going to mix them together to create a really warm, vibrant crease color. You definitely want to go in with a really fluffy brush and make sure that those colors are thoroughly blended and diffused really well from your mobile lid to your upper crease area. So now with the matte palette, I'm gonna go in with that kind of nude brown and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend that a little bit lower into my crease, helping to divine that outer V and just help to give me a little bit more of a fold because you guys can see that I do have hooded eyes. So that color just really helps to define my crease a lot more. So now I'm gonna go in with that kind of gray ashy purple color and surprisingly this color really worked well in my crease i wasn't sure how it was going to pan out but it was a really great decision and i really love smashbox matte eyeshadows When you're doing eye looks like this, it's a really good practice to go in when the brush is clean and just blend everything out. For my second primer, I'm gonna go in with the Photo Finish Matte Primer, and I'm gonna especially focus that in my T-zone where I have pores, and as you can see, it smooths everything right out. So now going in with the Smashbox Color Correction Stick and a Gem Blender, I'm gonna go ahead and take out those under eye circles, and I'm gonna even use a little bit of the color corrector around my mouth. I really love this tone. I feel like it really helps to blend everything out without being too apparent in your makeup. I am gonna go in with some Smashbox foundation. This is their shaping foundation. I'm gonna use shade 4.3 with an opal from Gem Blender. I'm gonna use that and blend that all over my face. Just softly going in and tapping out my concealer. This is the same concealer that I used under my brow bone. I wanna say that this is their medium dark tone. I will have all the precise information in the bottom bar. 
and I'm going in with a radiant which is basically a triangle gem blender and I'm using that to shape my face so now I'm going in with Smashbox Halo Powder and one of my favorite brushes from Smashbox and I'm using that to set my T-zone. Also using it a little bit to reverse contour. So I know this is a Smashbox, this is my Lancome Dual Finish Powder in 560 Pool, but I absolutely positively needed this as my contour powder today. I don't know why, but I did forget to contour, so I'm just gonna go on with this powder and make things happen. So now I'm mixing some Smashbox, um, their Halo Bronzer, and I'm mixing that with their Spotlight Highlighting Powder. And I'm gonna use the color, I forget the gold color name, um, Bring It On Gold or something like that. And I'm just using that to highlight the center of my face, cheekbones, my nose area, and my forehead. It gives a really soft, subtle glow. And when mixing it with the, with the bronzer, it's even nicer. So for my eyelashes, you wanna make sure to go in, put the glue in your eyelashes, and kind of bend it and fold it to make sure it fits around your eye. Placing it right at your lash line and securing the outer edges is the most important step with eyelashes because those are always the areas that pop up first. Once I have it secure, I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and squeeze at the base of the eyelashes to make sure that they stick up there really well. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and do my lashes, but I'm also gonna use their mascara brush, and I absolutely positively love this brush. If you do not have this and you have really short, sparse bottom eyelashes, you need this. It, it's amazing, I love this brush. I've used it in several tutorials and it's just the best one I've used so far. So now I'm gonna take these two nude colors from Smashbox and I'm gonna go in with their Brood Eyeliner Pencil as my lip liner, which I love. And I'm gonna do a nude lip by just framing my lips and giving me a nice outer bound. And then I'm gonna go in, fill in my lip with that first nude color. And then I'm gonna go in the center of my lip with a little bit of a lighter color. This is gonna really help to give my lips dimension and pout. You guys know that I can't just do one lip color. So this is Carrot Stick, also from Smashbox, always on collection. And it's an orange with a really, really pretty gold underlying, kind of like glittery current. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that gold highlight and do my cupid's bow and also do the top portion of my lip. I think it's so pretty. I'm also gonna pop a little bit in my tear duct and a little tiny drop in the center of my eyelids just to up the ante on this look a little bit. Once you put that gold in the center of your eyelid, it officially looks like you did something to your eye makeup and you really didn't have to do much at all. So I absolutely love these lip combos. This purple is amazing. In the center of color I used is Pearl Please and it's so so pretty going back to the nude look just to compare it and I think it's a really pretty everyday kind of situation but I also had to try a pink which lip is your favorite as always guys I want to thank you so much for watching this tutorial this was a one brand tutorial for Smashbox go ahead and feel free to tweet them and link them this look as always I want to thank you so much for commenting rating and subscribing I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye guys